Thank you, Madam Speaker. My question is to the Minister for Primary Industries. Minister, the opening of the annual duck shooting season starts this long weekend. Native ducks will be blasted out of the skies in the name of sport. As we witness every shooting season, non-target non as well as targeted birds are wounded and die a painful and lingering death beyond the reach of those who are watching and trying to keep count. Water birds in Eastern Australia have been documented for years as being in significant decline. Minister BirdLife Tasmania has notified you that mainland ducks are flying to Tasmania to seek shelter from the worst drought in recorded history and from the devastation... Sorry, Dr Woodrow. Yes, Madam Speaker, I'm actually struggling to hear um, Dr Woodrow's question because the Deputy Leader of the Opposition is talking at such volume yep. while we're asking an important yep. question about ducks. And I just I, you to, I, okay, um, do you know what? I'm prepared to accept that point of order, providing you honour it in future. <laughs> <laughs> Please proceed. Minister BirdLife Tasmania notified you that mainland ducks are flying to Tasmania to seek shelter from the worst drought in recorded history and the devastation from climate change induced bushfires. Those birds will be live targets for the next three months. Minister, will you follow the lead of New South Wales, Queensland and Western Australia and ban duck hunting in Tasmania? Or will the so-called clean green state continue to be the laggard when it comes to native wildlife protection? Thank you. The Honourable Minister for Primary Industries and Water. Thanks very much, uh, Madam Speaker, and I thank the honourable member for her question. I didn't hear. Uh, no, I think the, it was cheeky and rude. The, uh, so just ignore it. Interference of the opposition, uh, whatever that interjection was, and they're laughing about that. And of course, it is an important matter, and I acknowledge the question. But I want to make it very clear that as a majority Liberal government, as we have in the past and uh, still today, we recognise that appropriately managed duck hunting is a traditional form of recreation in Tasmania. And I want to make it very clear that my department manages an open season to provide access for recreational hunting and has strict regulations, Madam Speaker. 50, strict 000, procedures. 58,000. These are the ducks <coughs> in the field every Madam single Speaker, year. Business, business as usual is not OK. Yes. Um, yes, I think that's... The world is changing. I'm sorry, Ms Woodruff. That's the interjection that your leader doesn't like, so please <laughs> don't do it again. Pardon, Madam Speaker. No, no, no. I was simply raising... Just so I'm not misrepresented, I was raising the issue of the Leader of the Opposition and Deputy Leader of the Opposition chattering at volume while a question was being... Yes, but ducks. what's good for the goose is good for the game. So please continue. <laughs> Thank you, Madam Speaker. All the ducks. <laughs> Appropriate uh, comment from the Speaker with respect to uh, um, ducks. So, Madam Speaker, as I was saying, as it, through the department, we we uh, impose uh, strict regulations and procedures when it comes to ensuring that ducks uh, and hunting of ducks is conducted in a humane way and in a sustainable way. And I want to make it clear state, in terms of the why evidence. Why are we the last state that ever Order, Ms Woodruff. Ms Woodruff, uh, the whole house is tempting me to ask somebody to leave. And I don't want it to be you. Please proceed, Minister. Thank you, Madam Speaker. I was trying to provide some evidence for the Honourable Member and members in this chamber that uh, what might satisfy uh, the, the member, or at least uh, other members, so I'm not sure it will ever satisfy the Green members, but the long-term population monitoring of wild duck populations conducted annually by my department shows no evidence of long-term decline in wild duck numbers in Tasmania over this period. Wildlife population trends are determined using scientifically robust and statistically valid methodologies. That have taken Madam no Speaker, account of the current conditions Ms. Woodruff. Madam Speaker, monitoring has been regularly conducted in Tasmania for more than three decades under governments of all sides, including the former Labor, Labor Green government. Um, and as far as I'm aware, uh, that under that uh, those previous uh, governments that did not ban duck hunting. Surveys undertaken in February 2020, February 2020, Madam Speaker, showing that numbers remain within the range observed in recent years. Consequently, the 2020 hunting season. Did they take it on the mainland as well, Mr. 
Minister? Madam Speaker, if I could continue. You could. Clarification. Madam Speaker, surveys uh, undertaken in February 2020 shows that numbers remain within the range observed in recent years. And in 2020... What about the migration? The 2020 order. hunting season for wild duck in Tasmania will open on Saturday the 7th of March. A shame. And close on Monday the 8th of June. Wildlife enforcement officers will monitor the activities of duck hunters at wetlands to ensure compliance with rules and regulations in this place. I'm also aware that calls by, uh, from BirdLife Tasmania to cancel the 2020 duck hunting season and note in passing that they have uh, a known track record in calling for the banning of the duck season <laughs> with similar calls made in both 2017 and 2018, That's right. Madam That's Speaker. And I'm, I conclude, yeah. Madam Speaker, they that as far scientists. as the majority Liberal Government is concerned, Minister. we support the Tasmanian way of life. We support uh, the important opportunities oh. to be involved in life. recreational hunting or shooting, Madam theory. Speaker. Uh, it's an important part of the Tasmanian way of life, and as far yeah. as I'm concerned, it's part of what makes Tasmania great. Oh,